And now you're telling me it's not a property of matter, it's a property of something else handed to the matter. It's, it's already a, a big step to think to ourselves that the mass comes from something, right? The, isn't just the mass a property of matter? And now you're telling me it's not a property of matter, it's a property of something else handed to the matter. Yeah, it comes in, in, in this picture, which, is, as you said, has now been shown to be correct, right, because we discovered the Higgs particle. Um, the, the, the mass, at the most fundamental level, comes from the interaction of these things, these particles, with the Higgs field. We call it a field, so you can imagine it as something that fills the universe. Um, and uh, so, it, I mean, you, you get mass from all sorts of things. So, so most of the mass actually doesn't come from that. Most of it just comes from, it's, it's really through Einstein's equation equals mc squared. So you can, so energy equals mass and mass equals energy. But at the most fundamental level, yes, the particles, the building blocks like quarks and electrons have mass, and that comes from their interaction with the Higgs field. It's not the, the best description, but it, what we're saying is that we now know that at the most fundamental level, the little points, the smallest particles we know, acquire mass through an interaction with this thing called the Higgs field.